We're now joined by Marlene Collar. Now, I have a unique name, and you have a unique name, and I'm just, I feel like I probably pronounced it wrong, so I'm going to give you a spot right now to just say how you, you actually say it. Well, you say it Marlene Collar, but uh, at USC, I just go by M, because I feel like it's the easiest. I hate when people like look at me, and they don't know like how to pronounce the names, so I just go like, just call me M. You got to fill it in for them. You're like, just yeah. here, here's how to do it, yeah. Um, tell us about going fast in the water. You go fast in the water. How do you go fast in the water? Because I've never been a fast person in the water, and it makes me mad, and I want to learn how to go fast in the water. <laughs> well, I'm the wrong Speedo. person to Speedo. ask. Speedo. <laughs> I'm the wrong person to ask when it comes to, like, swimming really fast because I'm not a sprinter. I'll do, like, the mile, the 1,000, the 500, so, like, more of the distance. Um, events, but but sometimes you got to turn it on at the end. Right? Yeah, I try to turn it on. It's something I can still work on, but... I don't know. I think swimming is a very special sport because you have to like work in a different element. Um, so it's like I think it's kind of unique and it's something that we describe as the like water feeling for us. Like every water feels different. It mm -hmm. might sound like a little weird, but wherever we go, we say like, oh, this water is fast. This water is slow. Like a thick water. Yeah, it's just like. <laughs> It's hard to describe if yeah. you like don't know what it really means, but um, yeah, every water is different and sometimes you can go faster, sometimes you go slower. So I don't really know what the magic ingredient is for going fast. I'm still trying to figure it out myself, uh -huh. but yeah. I did one year of swim team and I quit because the water was too cold. I was like in fifth grade and was crying <laughs> through my uh, my goggles. True quarterback. Yeah, yeah <laughs> true true softy up here. What is the ideal like water temperature for a long distance uh, swimmer like that? Oh, that's a good one. I don't I don't even really know how cold the water is, but I can tell you like when I stand in front of the blocks at six a.m. in the morning, it's definitely not like something I enjoy <laughs> doing really. Um, but I feel like everything like. It's like for sure below like 30 degrees Celsius. I don't know ugh, how that is in Fahrenheit. I still have not figured that out quite yet. Um, but it's important for us that it's not too hot and not too cold because if it gets too hot, you're like, you get exhausted way faster. And yeah. if it's too cold, like you just freeze to death. Yeah. I now remember. you mentioned the, the Celsius Fahrenheit conversion. That's because yeah. you're originally <laughs> from Austria and you came to USC with some accolades. You swam in the 2020 Olympics. You broke two Austrian records. What was that experience like for you? No, it was great. Uh, it was obviously everything I ever wanted to achieve was to compete at the Olympic Games. It was a little unfortunate that like there was no audience, like no spectators. So like I think the entire Olympic experience was totally different than like the Olympics before that. And I would have loved my like parents to come and just like see me swim in real life at the biggest event that I've like actually ever competed at. But no, it was I had I swam three races. I brought broke two records so like obviously I can't complain about my uh, first Olympic experience but I hope there's more. Oh yeah for sure. What uh, has your USC experience been like here being here now for uh, checking it out and and what's what's the season been like so far? How's it how's it going this year and and, and, and what's it all encapsulate here for you being at SC? Last year was pretty tough I have to admit like after the Olympics I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna do it's like I like you kind of f f like uh, fall into a hole I feel like because you like work towards something so big and then it happens and then you just like start okay like now it's like zero again now yeah. it just happened and you worked so hard for it so last year was definitely very hard for me I was not like my best and I think I still have a lot in me but what's very different in swimming is that back home we swim on 50 meter, like in 50 meter pools. And here, like most of the important meets are swam on yards, like 25 yards, which is like less than half what we swim. So you like turn way more often. Oh. And so like, yeah, uh, like 1500 meters back home is 30 laps. Here I swim 66 laps. Oh, a lot more flips. Eh? So it's like <laughs> a lot more flips and my turns aren't the best. So, um, yeah, I'm working. I'm really trying to figure out how to um, go long after the walls, like have better push offs this year because with 65 push offs, you, yeah, if you miss like one and it's not that good, it like adds up really yeah. fast. So, yeah, I just hope the season is going to be better than last. Was there a moment when you were growing up where you're like, all right, I'm going to be a long distance swimmer, like an event or a conversation where you switched away from just, hey, the, a short couple laps in freestyle to then, hey, I'm going to specialize in long distance specifically? No, I actually started out as a sprinter in 2015. We had the European Youth Olympic Festival, 
and I swam the 50 and 100 freestyle, so I thought I was going to be a sprinter for the rest of my life. But then I started to train like twice a day and just do more uh, meters in the water within two hours. And I just love the feeling of pain, but not like the really like heart pain that just like hits once. I love the pain that like hurts for a Ooh. longer time. Um, <laughs> so like, <laughs> I don't know why, but it just, I don't know. I, I guess I can handle it pretty well. So it just... Love it. Yeah. Respect. You won five individual events for USC this past weekend. One final fall meet left. How would you say that the team sits right now? No, I think we're doing. We think I think we're doing really great. Uh, last year was pretty tough for us, but uh, yeah, this year has been great. I think we have a lot of opportunities left to show that USC is really becoming a great uh, team. We have a great culture, and I really enjoy like just spending time with my best friends, my families. So that's something I can look forward to even at 6 o'clock in the morning. Real quick, favorite Austrian dish? Oh, schnitzel. Yeah, <laughs> man. For sure. Do you have an Austrian out, connection? Get thin. Yeah, nice. Is that your thing? I, I like an Austrian it's dish. It's elite. Okay, it's so okay. Well, thank you for the time. <laughs>